and welcome to wildlife walk number four. If you're new here then we go out, we do a walk, we take some photos, I show you behind the scenes and we just have a good time in nature. Today we have started in this farm. Now normally if you've watched my other videos you'll notice we end in the farm. Normally this is where my walks come to an end but today I thought I'd turn it around. I thought we'd come here first. So it's quite early in the morning. We're going to see what's here early in the morning as opposed to what's at the other end of my walk early in the morning. And sadly, there doesn't actually seem to be much on this farm today. Now, there used to be cows in this farm and they definitely attracted lots of small birds. All the uh, soil they turned up, things would come and get the insects and things. Um, since they've put all these plants here, we've definitely not seen as much wildlife. Now, there are a few skylarks, but they're very difficult to photograph and they're quite far away. So I think we're just gonna move on to the next area. And it's a beautiful sunny day today as well, unlike our previous wildlife walk when we were in the rain, it was drizzling, it was cloudy. Today we've got perfect lighting. Um, we're still kind of in the golden hour if you look at the shadow. It's still a bit longer than my body. We're almost out of it, but hopefully we can get some good photos before it ends. And we haven't really found anything so far, but trust me, we will. We're coming to my favourite point in just a minute and there's going to be wildlife there. It's packed with wildlife and on a quiet sunny day like this morning it's going to be great, trust me. So we're coming across the point where I filmed a little owl twice. Here we have filmed him when we were doing the how many animals can we photograph in three hours, but we'll see if he's there today. It's early in the morning, I haven't been at this time before, so we don't know, but we'll have a look. And guess what? The little owl was just here. Um, I didn't have time to update you or anything. He was flying around. There were loads of birds, alarm calling. It's crazy. Um, I didn't get any good photos, but I did get a photo of him flying. That was the only time you could see him because he was concealed fully in trees any other time. Unfortunately, there's a stick which is right in his face, which you'll be able to see because I'll show it to you. And that's annoying, but he was here. It's the first flying photo I've actually got. I'll show you some photos I've got of him here before. And we're going to keep our ear out because it's the alarm calls from other birds that really let us pinpoint where he is. So they're clearly resident in this field because we've seen them here multiple times now, which is good. Um, I think that's the third time I've seen him here and I've seen him just down the road once as well. It's good to know they're here. And we have a kestrel sitting just up on these lines. I'm seeing how close I can get. I've taken some photos already and he's flying off. No, he's gone. Okay. He might just be going further up. Still watching him. Okay, so he's landed further up the line. Although now he's in a perfect lighting. The sun is behind him and we've got trees. So he's not just against the sky. So actually, it's not all bad. I'd been waiting for half an hour and I decided to move on to see what other animals were waiting to be photographed. And we just came into the woods. Now we went through a field to get here and in that field there was a fox. Um, now I took a photo of this fox. He was in the nice long grass. It's a very pretty fox actually. I think it was a young one. Um, but yeah, it was very attractive and hopefully the photos came out well. Um, and so yeah, came into the woods and there's this beautiful stream down here. So I've just got some footage of the stream and I think we're going to move on. There doesn't seem to be much in this woodland, so I think our next stop will either be the canal or the golf course.
and we are now on the golf course so I just bumped into a baby rabbit um, there's actually three of them but only one stayed and so I took some photos of that now we've seen rabbits there multiple times now I've seen them on walks with my friends and I saw them once before I think it was wildlife walk 2 they're always in that spot which is nice to know and I got some good photos so here they are And we're still on the golf course and <laughs> I've seen two, well I've seen three butterflies, I managed to capture two of them in photos and they're beautiful, like the outside of them is so dull, like what you see when their wings are folded, but when they open them up the colour is crazy. There's one especially, now I don't know their names unfortunately, but I will insert them um, on top of the photos. But one of them, it just looked like a leaf from the outside, it was crazy camouflage. And then on the inside, it was the brightest orange with black spots. It, it was crazy. Um, yeah. And hopefully the photos turned out good and you can see them. So, we'll see if I see any more butterflies. Um, oh, wow. They are, they are very cool creatures and it is now coming up to midsummer. So, hopefully we'll be seeing a lot more butterflies. It's getting a little more cloudy, the sun's kind of coming in and out, um, but that's fine. We're out in the middle of our walk, so there were some black-headed gulls, there were three of them. I'm assuming two adults and a young one. Um, one of them had a patchy coloured head and the other two had dark heads. So that was cool to see, even though we're on a golf course nowhere near the sea. and a young pied wagtail. Now there's been hundreds of these around recently and I have some photos of the one which was just here and I've got some photos of the young pied wagtails from when I was just walking and I wasn't filming so I can show them to you now as well. And here are all of the young pied wagtails we've been seeing recently here. And I found another one of the super camouflaged, but very brightly coloured butterflies. Um, I've taken more photos. Should be obvious because it's bright and it's orange. And my camera battery ran out. But just before it did, um, I got my first ever photos of a chiff chap. So that was good. I've seen them before, but I've never managed to get a photo of them. So, yeah, that is a victory for me. We have a first ever photo in this wildlife walk. If you made it this far, then congratulations, you were here too. Um, hopefully we'll have many more. Now we have a family of more hens in front of me. Um, there's two parents and two chicks. We've seen these before. Um, I took some photos of them in the low light photography video, but they're back, they're a bit older, and we're gonna see what we can get. So it's a bit strange. The chick moorhens are still just down here behind me. Um, the parents, on the other hand, have swam off. They're at least like 100 metres down the canal and their chicks are just in this little corner together. So it's a little bit suspicious. I guess the chicks are in a lot of cover. They may just be hiding as the parents go and get food. And then, as I was photographing them, we have some friends. We have some swans. Um, 
Now we photographed these swans before in videos. Um, they've been in the challenge video. I know they've been in other walks. They're quite celebrities really. And here they are. Okay, he's not happy. Let's back off a little bit, but they're just down here. So we'll see what photos we can get. So it was nice for once that the wildlife came to us as opposed to us going to them. Um, now they swam right up to me. They, I don't know if they wanted food or something. Now there is a place they get fed off and just down the path. I um, mean, as soon as I got close to them, she started hissing, but you know, she's a wild animal, so <laughs> I don't know. So we've come off the canal now and we're in a kind of wooded area. We have the golf course to that side of us and some fields with horses to the other side. Um, now, I was standing underneath a tree and I heard some rustling above me. So I look up and there was a squirrel. He was literally directly above me. So I had my camera vertically upwards um, taking these photos. And I'm quite happy with how they turned out considering it's quite a dark area. I think I was on a shutter speed of about 300 and something, maybe 320, I'll put it down with the actual image and yeah, having looked on the back of the camera, they look good, so hopefully on the computer they will look the same. So we are now in the field where we normally start our wildlife walks and today we're going to end it here. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when wildlife walk number five comes out. If I find anything else on the way back, I will slideshow them at the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.